So, okay, I'm going to be talking a little bit low right now because I just put Hayes down, but he's probably not napping. I don't know. It sounds like I'm talking about a child. I'm not talking about a child. I'm talking about a dog. If I seem a little bit sketched out, low energy, it's because of that. That does not stop me from wanting to talk about books. (laughs) Now, I recently finished this little number that's in my hand. Um, Joan Didion's Play It Didion or Didion? I don't know. I could not tell you. Play It As It Lays, which is the first Joan Didion book that I have ever read. And I've seen a lot about her, um, mostly on TikTok. That's where I found this book because it was in, you know, those TikToks where they have those books stacked on top of each other and then they're like swiping it away and they're like, POV, you're depressed and hot or whatever. So, but the cover pulled me in on my birthday. Anyways, so all kinds of different tangents. So this book, I'm going to give a little bit of a summary here. This book follows an actress kind of out of work, a little bit jaded from the Hollywood lifestyle. You know, she's just, yeah, an actress, Mariah, um, who's rich, bored, sad, and yeah, jaded from that glitzy glamour LA lifestyle so she's but you know she spends her days lounging around the pool with her equally rich and bored friends um what else does she do oh she talks about missing her daughter who she put in some kind of care facility or like a hospital because she has mental a mental disorder which I got to argue here. <laughs> I'm just going to say any decent person I don't think would do that. If you love your child so much, you probably aren't going to put them away somewhere and then complain that you miss your kid. If and also if you're rich and have all the resources to take care of your child at the same time. Anyways, it was the 60s. I don't know if that makes any difference. Um but yeah, And she, because she's so just kind of, I feel like she has disassociation. She has some kind of disassociation too, but anyways, because she's so disassociated and out of body from life, she takes a lot of drugs and drinks and smokes and just kind of, and drives. She has a lot of time on her hand. Okay, so knowing all that, you're probably asking me, what's the plot? What 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 is going on here? Even the back of the book, the description, it's not a plot. It's just play it as it lays captures the mood of an entire generation, plumbing the emptiness and ennui of a seemingly bankrupt society in spare sentences that scour and disturb. Uh, remains it remains more than forty years after its original publication, a profoundly unsettling novel riveting in its exploration of a woman and a society in crisis, stunning the still, stunning in the still startling intensity of its prose. So yeah, there's not really a plot. Through reading this book, I was just thinking, I was so frustrated because I expected an entirely different thing. Because I was just getting so frustrated because I thought, what is the point? of this. I do not like any of these people. And they're just going around. Mariah, the main character, just goes around and makes decisions. And it's weird decisions. And I'd have some empathy for her if I cared, but I don't. And I th- and that's all in the writing. It's very withheld and cold and you know, you only get a few. The chapters in this are kind of like only a paragraph long. Maybe more if you're lucky. Maybe less. Um, but the sentences and the prose in this, just get it down. No further explanation. She did this. Moving along. 
occasionally there's some moments of emotion, but overall it's just withheld and um, just to the point. I always expect a book to be emotional and I I want to care about the characters. Sorry, the laptop was dying. I want to care about the characters. I always do. I go into every single book wanting to care and expecting really overly descriptive um, inside the minds and feelings of the characters. And then I finished the book and then I started thinking about the title and I'm now I'm thinking that was entirely the point and it's brilliant. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, that's, that's so, that's great. <laughs> I hate it so much, but it's great because there's so much that she could have wrote in graphic detail, like the abortion, the, the whole scene of the film business with the disturbing seedy undertones and there's something going on but you don't really get the full picture and Mar Mariah doesn't really care to investigate further. There's the dysfunctional relationships, the fighting, um, the drug abuse, the drinking, even Kate, her daughter, she could have gone into more detail about that, but she just kind of says hello, so, you know, says hello, leaves, wants to go back to her. It could all be a lot more disturbing and it could be something. But what this book does just kind of gives us situations and plays it as it lays, you know? I like that phrase too, play it as it lays. Like, don't, just don't care about it. Just move on. This book is the exact phrase of moving on. Moving on, business as usual. Which probably isn't the healthiest way to live, but that's what this book is this book gives. Um, it, it reminded me a lot of this book that I read once called The Stranger, which is one of my favorite books. Um, but I also, when I first read that, I was expecting this really emotional, full of feeling, I love the characters, detailed book about a guy on the sea who commits a murder. But that book is told from the perspective of a sociopath, just plain and simple, he's a sociopath, and him just killing somebody. And then when he goes on to trial, everybody thinks that he's a danger just because he doesn't have feelings. And that book was written kind of exactly like that, where you're just given situations and things that happen, but it's not gone into any deeper. It's not read. There's no reading between the lines. This is what happened. I just find them really hard to read, personally, because they're so short, straight up, to the point. Um, but I think that it's honestly a rare experience to read books like these. Even though it is frustrating, it can be frustrating because you do want a lot more. <laughs> There's a lot that you want and it's just not gonna, it's not gonna give it to you. Nope. Because there are just, there are I'd say 80% of books are full of detail, are full of explanation, and you get every reason why. And you love the characters, and you love to love them. Reading these books is like a challenge. Like, how much, how much can you care about these people? How much can you have empathy for characters who don't seem to care at all? It is just an interesting experience to have while reading. I think what really... What I really like most about those kind of books are the just the situations because with characters who are kind of sociopaths and don't really care and are a little bit emotionless, they get into some crazy situations and you're just you're just kind of watching it happen. So I think that's where the interest lies mostly is just the situations and the things that they do because it's not it's not ever expected or predicted. But um, going back into talking about this book specifically, I really think that um, that style works very, very well because it's a book 
in Los Angeles, which is a very superficial place full of superficial people. And um, it's in the Hollywood scene. So, I mean, that's just the most straight up superficial that you can get, pretty much. (laughs) And I appreciate it. I appreciate it for that. The way that it's written, why. You just understand why it's like this. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? But yeah, this one threw me off guard. Books like this throw me off guard. But I'm always kind of glad that I read it. I don't think I would reread it though because I was so frustrated. But I would recommend it because it is very smart and it gives you a different perspective on different kinds of characters that maybe you haven't read before. So, yes, Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion. I liked it. It's going to leave you feeling absolutely nothing at all. Promise. <laughs>